Well, good night, folks. I mean, good evening. <laughs> Not good night. Let's see here. It is a good night. Let's turn this down so I can hear myself think. Let's make sure the web captions are working. There we go. Well, good evening. I have been messing around in my house again. Oh, dear. And I'm not sure if I like it or not. <laughs> but I've been playing around and I built something that's kind of cool, I think. Um, let me move this lady out of the way. And I'll show you what I did. At least one thing here I like. I like this. It looks like an oven, like a built-in oven, you know, like the ovens that are like built into the wall in your house. Um, so, I mean, I kind of like that. And I just did it with a, it's an Oasis bookshelf, a wall torch, and a, a tier two metal aquarium that I put together um, to make that. And I kind of think that's cool. I'm just trying to figure out how I want to do the rest of the kitchen around it. And if, you know, I, cause I don't really, I'm not, I'm not digging this other stuff that I've got going here and, um, just probably going to pull it all down and, uh, and continue thinking about what I want to do here. But I do like that at least a lot of housing stuff is just like trial and error. And playing around with things, you know, uh, until you find something that you actually like. Like, you know, I like that. That's cool. And I'm going to leave that. And I'm going to build the rest of the kitchen around that, I think. And I'm probably going to change my walls and my floors. Um, I took down the Christmas decorations. And so here we are. My house is a, to is a mess. I'll torn up again. Whoa. Um... Hold on a second. I got to go get my husband because his his uh, continuous power supply keeps going off and making this horrible sound. Um, oh, he's but he's here already. <laughs> I don't know why it's doing that. I didn't have a blip in my power or anything. Let's see. I'm just going to kind of move things around and I'm going to change my estate tag so people know that it's under renovation because I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the rest of this kitchen. Just got these things sitting here now and stuff on the floor. <laughs> oh goodness. Okay, here we go. The sound has ceased but not really sure why it's happening because I don't I didn't even I didn't see the lights flicker or anything <laughs> renovation power uh, no not his PSU no he's got a continuous power supply that his PC plugs into and that's what's making the sound it's a and uh I don't know it's like an APC continuous power supply yeah he's messing with it right now Good evening, both of you. Welcome, Sajikar. Glad you're here. And Monty, welcome. Yeah, renovation. It's constant. I'm just like messing around. You know, I, I, I took down the Christmas decorations. And I was like, oh, well, that gives me extra items that I can put down. And so I started pulling things apart. What was I thinking? Ugh. well, so here we are. My kitchen is a disaster. Let me change my estate settings just to um, state tag settings. I'll change it to under construction. <laughs> Wait, where is that? Under renovation. There we go. Just so people like, you know, if they walk in the front door here and see this, they aren't shocked. <laughs> All right. So tonight we are going back to the goblet to Ward 4. Oh my goodness. I should probably repair my equipment here there we go oh, I was crafting stuff earlier and it's shocking how fast your um, durability on your items will go down you got the blinds and started trying to figure out how to unhide the windows 
Oh, you know, you can use them on fake windows too. That's what I did with mine. Like the ones, like that's a fake window. Oh no, that's the regular window. That's the actual window there. Um, but down in the basement, you know, I put, I put these windows in. These are fake windows because there's no windows down here. But yeah, um, have fun. I, I gave you something and now you have to remodel your house. <laughs> Maybe you're just doing a lot more crafting. I've noticed it happens, you know, like I basically every expansion, I do the same thing. And this might sound really dumb to some people, but I figure out whatever the the first level input material leaves are that you can turn in. And that's what I make. I craft those, I use them to level myself up, and then whatever I have left over, I sell to other people, and I just quick synth it. And so, like, I got my carpenter to 90, basically, by turning in red pine lumber, and I've made lots of money by selling red pine lumber, and the best part of it is I haven't had to upgrade my crafting gear yet, and so I don't have to actually upgrade my crafting gear until they put in a unified crafting set. Um which is really helpful because man, people charge way too much. Oh, oh, do you want me to show you how to do it? I'll show you. I'll show you right now how to put an imitation window onto a partition. It's, it's housing learning time. Here we go. I'm going to teach you something. All right. So we just need any partition. Here's a marble partition. Oops, wait, wrong thing. I want one here. Let me just pull a partition out of my, um, thing here okay so here's a partition I'm just gonna like ran like sit it there okay so you have a partition and you want to put a window on it you have to have the window in your storage okay so make sure it's in your storage and like the fool's thresholds or any any window um, you're gonna click on the window in your storage okay so it'll pull it out and it'll be there in front of you make sure that you have the move object selected grab the window Put it up on that partition where you want it, but don't click. Do not click to place it. What you're going to do is you're going to hit the asterisk key on your keyboard, and then you're going to hit zero. And that will place the item on the partition. See, there it is. But I could not do that if I just tried to click to place it. It's asterisk and then zero. Those are the default um, sub command menu keys for placement item of items. I hope you're using a keyboard. I'm not sure how to do it. Um, you'd have to configure the sub command menu for a controller if you're playing on PlayStation. And I'm not sure what those keys are. But there you are. That is how you put a window or any wall mounted item, any wall mounted item that won't go onto a partition. You can do that. You can actually place wall mounted items where they don't normally go using that trick too. Here, I'll show you. Here, let's go into my storeroom. Let's see. Let's take something. Um, let's find an item and that doesn't want to go somewhere. Uh, we'll just take, you know, this, this planter shelf. Let's find somewhere that it's pink. See, it doesn't want to go there. It says you can't put it there. No, not allowed. Asterisk zero. Look, it's on the wall. There you go. It's there easy peasy that is one of the few glitches that i use i use that um and then there's also a counter placement glitch where you can make things just kind of stay where you want them here i'll show you that one too let me put this back in storage i'm gonna I'll show you a little trick so there's a counter placement glitch let me move this lady out of the way um let me put these things in storage so that i have enough i don't know how many items i can put down now that's just kind of in the way so this little thing say i want to turn this into a burner on my stove but you know it just doesn't want to go in there and it's not behaving i want to like turn it into a little like you know single burner um so i'm gonna take a loft i've got one in my storage i'm just gonna like take this wooden loft and i'm gonna pop it up on the wall like right well it's not gonna want to go on the wall at that height i don't think actually nope I'm going to have to use something else. Okay. So let's see. What can I use? Let's use. 
it's not going to be exactly the right height. Um, here, we'll just take, we'll, we'll do this. Here we go. So say we want to do, we want to turn this into a stove top. You got this little pedestal and you kind of want this thing to be kind of sunk in the pedestal, but you know, at the right height so that you have like a little burner like that. So basically what you need to do is you need to have this thing at the right height. So what I'm going to do actually is I am going to use a stage panel. Here, I'm going to pull a stage panel out. So there's a stage panel. You take the stage panel and then I have an antique wooden wall shelf that you can buy. For, these are things you can buy from the vendor, right? You can buy the shelves and the stage panels. You can even buy these round lofts. We can use that too. Um, we want to put this round loft up and we want it to be like right at the height. We'll figure this out. So we'll put that there and then we'll take our little stove and we'll put it on the loft because that's a tabletop item. So now what we need to do is we need to figure out the right height for this loft to get that item where we want it, the right height. Okay, so it's there. Now I'm just gonna move this thing into place. Oops, that's too high. So I'm gonna move this down a little bit. I'll see if I can move the loft down just a little bit more. Oh, let's see, we want it right, right there. There, just like that. So that's what you want, right? Say you want it at that height. Okay, so it's sitting there. But if I, I can't take the loft away, I can't like put the loft in storage because there's an item on it. See this little button here? This is the counter placement. It says toggle counter surface placement on and off. So turn it off and then click the item. Like I'm, I'm just clicking it with my the right with, or with my left mouse button, which, uh, oh shoot, that's not what I wanted to do. Where'd it go? It went into storage. Darn it. Hold on. Let me fix that. I got to put it back on there. <gasps> I'm showing you the wrong thing. Here's my Ish Guardian stove. Okay. So I got to turn counter placement back on. Got to move this thing into place. Okay. So there it is. I'm going to move the whole lot where I want it, just like that, right in the middle. So now it's at the right height. See, it looks like a little burner. It looks like a stove burner. Um, and I'm just going to, now I have move selected object on. Okay. So then you just click on it like you're going to move it, but don't actually move it. And then, so I left clicked and now I'm just going to right click to let it snap back. Turn off counter placement, do that. You click it and then you just unclick it so that it snaps back without actually moving it or clicking anything. And then you can grab the loft and pull it out and counter surface counter placement is turned off. So it, you won't be able to put the loft on a stage panel. You'll have to put it onto an open wall. It's the only thing that you'll be able to put it on, but there. So now that little thing is floating in space inside there. There you go. That's how you do stuff. That's how you clip items. That is how people do it. They use those two glitches, place things from storage, because you can do that with any wall item and you can do the counter placement thing. So those are super easy glitches. And if you forget how to do it, you can come back and look at this again. <laughs> I'll make a clip of this or somebody could clip it. If you want to clip it, go for it. Um, but yeah, Yep. <laughs> You're welcome. Let me clean up this little mess here and then we're going to go off to the goblet. I'm just going to kind of leave that stuff sitting there for right now. <laughs> I like that actually, you know, I mean, it looks like a little, it looks like, you know, a little single burner, um, little single burner stove you could put a pot up there. I don't know. Cool. Anyways, off we go to the goblet four. Let's see. So we're going to go to Ulda. <laughs> well, I watched videos on YouTube to figure some of it out. And then some of it, I just, I don't even 
really remember how I figured some of it out. Oh gosh, what's going on here? So laggy. I'm going to have to, oh, I'm going to have to turn some stuff off on my com computer here. I don't think I've got, I had a lot of stuff going today. Like I worked on stuff all day on, um, I'm going to close stuff down. Um, I worked on stuff all day on um, my virtual avatars with uh, with Vroid Studio and with Clip Studio Pro, which is the program that I used to do like clothes editing and things like that, texture editing. Um, so Saturday morning, I'm actually going to do uh, I'm going to do art tomorrow morning. I'm going to do art with uh, with stuff. Let's see here. So we're going to the goblet for. And there it is. And I think that we made it to like. Yeah, I think we made it to like plot 10 or 12. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure out where we were. So let's see where I think that we I think the last thing we went to was plot 14 down there but we'll go and make sure you know a lot of the items that I like throw together I figure it out by looking at what other people have done too I think that we were here I think that we've been here yep Aldmeyer this was the I think this was the last house that we went to. So let's check 15 and make sure that that's not it. Oh, I know. Ugh. Well, I can only put 200 items in my small house. And you hit that really quick. <laughs> You'd be surprised. And, you know not to even mention yards like you can only put 20 items in a yard yeah our free company house is a medium and i've helped decorate that and it's just you know you hit the you hit that cap i kind of have done things like i close spaces down with lofts and partitions to make it um feel more cozy so that it's not huge and open and some you know because sometimes that just doesn't give the feeling that you want the war beast sanctuary this is owned by war beast i i'm thinking that we might have been in here let me check was this the last house we went into oh yeah we were here so this was the last house we visited during the last stream You turned into a ninja and ran in and saved those Lalafell, Monty. Awesome. I was hoping somebody would save them. <laughs> that was nuts. Totally nuts. Why isn't chat showing up on my screen? What's up with my chat window? Where's the chat window? Let's see. Yeah. Oh, there it is. It's there. It's just going away really quick. <laughs> She wants to demolish your basement when she plans to redecorate. You both agree the shrine you seem to like so much is the only thing that will remain untouched. <laughs> I thought that shrine was awesome. Yes. Okay, so we're going to plot 16. Where is it? Oh, 16 is closed. So 16, 17, and 18 are all closed. So we're actually just going to kind of run down here and go straight across the Brimming Heart to plot 19. That is our next stop. So, only the best for, for kind Coco Knight. <laughs> Let's see here. This is plot 19 right here. This is where we are. Oh, they've got morning glory plots up in the thing. This is Alt Shop's shop. It's the Alt Shop, and it is a free company house. Yeah. Yep. You know, I've seen a lot of people with those big houses. They'll like that uh, the upstairs. 
They will close off the doors on one end and put partitions up to cut that space in half and only decorate half of it and, you know, cut down the space downstairs too. Otherwise it feels, it feels just like big empty space. So let's see here. This says, please come in and see what we're selling today. All alt rentals on request. The storage room is, however, employees only. All right. So they've just got these. Oh, that you can just walk right through the morning glory plots. I didn't know that. Their yard is cute. Kind of made it a little private. There's their guest book right there in the yard. Let's go on and take a look. Yeah, I didn't know that you could just walk right through those. Let's see. Got these. I think that these are the Riviera countertops. Riviera counters. They stuck together. It's kind of cool because when you put them together end to end like that, you can make a little circle with the with the tablecloth. It's one of the few items that has a a, ta a tablecloth on it. No, I'll find the storage room. You you bet 100%. Unless it's a free company room that's not open to public. <laughs> I like their little arrangement of items here. They've got all kinds of stuff. Here's their little living room. Oh, look. They've got that cute wallpaper. No wheels in their thing right now, but that looks nice too. They made use of, you know, if you can't beat the pillars into submission, then you just, you know, figure out ways to live with the pillars. There you go. Put windows in between them. Oh, God. Look. They're letting their alarm clock go off all day just to drive whoever happens to be in the house crazy. She's annoyed at your use of more pillars. Well, sometimes that's, you know, that's an appropriate choice. Let's go on upstairs. Oh, let's see. There's a door. Oh, here we go. Well, this looks nice. Here's a little library area with a doll shelf and a doll. Wee -oo, wee -oo. <laughs> Creepy. Okay, so they use these things like this. Okay, just as like a kind of a divider that you can walk through. Three different colored futons, red, blue, and yellow. I'm, I wonder if this is the guest bedroom or if they're just, you know, don't really need privacy or anything. little living room with a very tall table for a coffee table you could there's other tables that are lower than that i like to use for coffee tables i love to use the little or round oriental table or the um the hingen sitting table because they're lower bathroom this is cute little tub and sh shower head and then they've got uh, the little Glade sideboards with the makeup kit. And, oh, look. Okay, so that's a cute idea to make it look like a little sink. It's the little gem scope thingy. And that is, I believe, the big assorted fruit bowl. Um, and the fox kit is going to go up and check it out very closely that's the assorted fruit bowl which is a, a tabletop food item there's quite a number of tabletop food items that if you eat all the food from the item you end up with something kind of cool that you can use um after the fact and that's one of them you can use that for a pretty cool sink yeah when you eat everything out of the thing it doesn't disappear you know, it just leaves behind an item like the the hand poured coffee. Um, if you drink all of the coffee out of the cup, you you end up having an empty coffee cup that you can like put on a shelf. 
or put it in, I like to put an empty coffee cup next to the coffee maker like, you know, someone's waiting for the coffee to be done. Oh, this looks cool down here. Check it out. Here we go. We've got the arbor floor. We've got lots of uh, bam. There's like a bamboo planter with, you know, these four axle flower pots and an azalea pot in it. And they grew the little cherry tree, all these uh, wall planters, potted spider plant. They've just put, you know, flowers inside of the the bamboos. They use the blue sky walls. Lots of extra lighting. Is that the pudding table? Is that what that is? Oh, that is. That's the pudding table. Ugh. And there's the pudding rug. <laughs> and, and the pudding chair. Oh, dear. Pudding Way, yes, where's Pudding Way? I hope that we can get Loperets to put in our house someday instead of catfish. I would fill my house with bunnies. This is cute. I like this. Well, now how do you get into the... Are you supposed to just... I guess you're just supposed to jump over the thing to get in here. I wouldn't have thought that that would look cool but it kind of does <laughs> all right all right blue sky wall it's a sunny sunny garden downstairs oh look what's happening here that's a little tiny um whatever that thing is the doro ilo and a couple moogles sitting around <laughs> All right, let's see if they've got any uh, they've got any free company rooms that we can take a peek at. There are a few. This is private chambers one. The owner is Kaora Hamura. And I didn't see any storage room anywhere. Um, oh, whoa. <gasps> oh, no. The server might thwart our plans tonight. I just got the due to extreme server load. You were unable to leave the area error. This was happening to me earlier. The storage room is a lie. <laughs> oh, this looks cool. They've set up, They've got a start here. I don't know if this is done or not, but. They built out some stuff here. I think this is just a work in progress, but you know, they've got to start on their bedroom. It's got a Lalafell, which makes it almost done. Yeah, I have had that happen a number of times over the last several days. Um, Yesterday it ha was happening for like a half hour um, and I couldn't I couldn't go anywhere. It was really kind of crazy. Private Chambers number two is owned by Kimberlet the Zoo. Let's see if they've decorated their room and they have. Sort of. It's not quite done. What? Maybe this is the storage room. <laughs> yep, it's so busy now. We are so busy. Midgar is so busy. Okay. You know, I, I like these items too. <laughs> it looks like an Ikea store. <laughs> so that's where all the bookshelves are. I, everyone's room I go into that's under renovation there's like piles of books on the floor I'm like is there Ikea sold out of bookshelves what's going on this is the library the owner is Levi McGarden and it says please enjoy the collection of books feel free to borrow the bed in the back if you lose track of time <laughs> Your real life house has a lot of Ikea. All right. Well, this looks nice. It's a nice library. Oh my gosh. See, look, they need extra. 
They need extra bookshelves here. There, there's no way there's enough room on these shelves. There's not enough empty space for all of these. They need to like build all the way to the ceiling. The sky will not allow you to change the song on the jukebox, just in case you're wondering. He will stab you with his face horns if you even try. There's little shoes and a little snowman. It's the bedroom. It's a double tonberry bed. Oh, and did they put the couch behind it? How did they get the... They did. They used the couch. They used the couch and two tonberry beds. Look at that. There you go. There's your tonberry things. That's super cute. Two tonberry beds suck next to each other with the couch behind it so that you get the little tonberry king face pillow. And now you can even get some extra pillows to put on it because they put in the little cushions. Um, cool. That's super cute. I like it. Nice idea. I like this library. All right. I think there's one more room. Private Chambers number four is owned by Kira David. Let's go check it out. Butt spot always gets you, Monty. This is a work in progress, I think. <laughs> they've got they've got their little mog bed with the that that's so cute. This is like, you know, this is what my daughter would have done in her bedroom when she was a kid. Totally, 100%. <laughs> now, here's another thing. So this, if you have this item, I don't have one of these, but I am going to buy some of these from the Mog Station. This food item, because when you eat all of the food off of that, you get this little thing. It's like a tiny little table. And it's adorable. It's got, you know, like this little decoration on it and the little bows and little jack-o'-lantern. Super cute. Paw prints. Bathtub back there. I'm not sure. This might be the storage area, you know? I mean, I'm not sure. They're like storing these lofts and things. They do have a tonberry lamp though. All right. Yeah, this is probably the storage area. All right, so we've been to every room in this house. Let's, whoops, wait, let's go on out. Click the wrong thing. We'll go sign their guest book. I really love the downstairs. I thought that was really nice. Really cute idea with the blue sky walls and all of the garden stuff. It's not your PC that's having a problem, no. is it? It's just... Well, we'll figure it out. All right. There's their guest book. Let's go sign that. Oh no, it's a Kefka house. They own everything in this ward. A word from the owner. Welcome to the Kefka alt shop. <laughs> Please browse our wares and watch your language. There are lalas around. Please enjoy our indoor garden. I did enjoy the indoor garden. That was very cute. Love that garden downstairs. So cute. Blue sky wall paper amazing all right so there we are we've signed the guest book i'm gonna copy that little bit so that i don't have to write that out again 
Why would I watch my language around Lollapels? They're more evil than Kefka. <laughs> These people, yeah, they must have all moved in the same time. I know they did. I, I think so too. Because I, I remember back when I got my first house, when I got my house originally, um, there were multiple open plots in the goblet where I bought my house. It wasn't even hard. You know, I just went and picked the one I liked the best and plopped down my, you know, my money. And now nothing. <laughs> oh, it's not you, Monty. It's, it's, you know, the NPC Lollafells, not you. Lollarito. Mm. Okay, let's take a look at this. Some of those other Lollafells have given nice Lollafells a bad name. This is plot 20. And the owner is Zips. And, uh, <laughs> well, the name is Zips. The owner is Zip-O. Oh, hey, look, there's someone here. And here's the owner. Oh, he hello. There's the person that owns it. Let's say hi. There you go. This is so pretty. Oh, for sure. Okay, cool. He's going to show us his secret. I'm going to wander around the yard first. Let's take a look. Look at this. They've got red, yellow, green, pink floor or a uh, brick tiles there pretty oh look he made this the yard the the tree swing yeah the lollafells without pupils that live in alda yep those are the ones those are the ones that give all lollafells bad names i love that i love this awesome and i just love these walls oh look he put the um Put the the brick oven you can put stuff up on this deck here Ooh, even more reason to want to get the these walls i want them so bad <laughs> this looks awesome so cute let me go up in the tree house and take a look down <laughs> very cool all right let's go on inside Oh boy. Let's see here. Whoa, look at this. Oh, mm, this is awesome. Here's your entryway. It's like a garden. And there's the owner welcoming us to his house. This is beautiful. This is so pretty. We've got the ponds with the fish and these waterfalls and lots of verdant partitions. And he floated one of them up so that, you know, it would frame the door. Just little garden benches. Very pretty. So let's go on through the door here. All right follow this guy down the steps is he in, i don't think he's in kefka no this is a different free company his he's his own free company this is lovely oh look he made a pool table i've seen people do this before you use um paintings to box it in and i believe that those are just hanging sideboards and then those are also paintings just set, you know, using that place from storage thing that I showed you. 
and that is the back of a silk cupboard and they use that to make the um pool cue holder yes i know mine too this song is my favorite it's lovely i found a there's a woman named p leaf on uh on youtube who did a cover of it and she has the most beautiful voice and it sounds amazing sung by a woman too i love this floating chandelier it's not attached to anything it's just four sylph wall lamps that um oh you saw that oh, okay <laughs> This is awesome. Look, there's um, factory wall lights stuck into the rustic chocobo counter. We've got little different colors here for everything. Got the back bar. This is pretty. That's a mahogany aqueduct floated up. And I think that probably will give. A, oh, look at the shark. <laughs> oh, I bet I know what the secret is. Look, you see that stuff there? I bet he's got an elevator. This is amazing. <laughs> what happens when you hit the bricks? <laughs> okay, wait, let's see. Oh, gold. Okay. What happens when you hit the bricks money okay oh look at that ah it's an elevator ah yes we're gonna do it let's go all right i gotta turn that off so here we go you gotta get up here it's mario it's super mario when you hit the bricks what happens you go to the money land check it out oh <laughs> That's awesome. I'm going to do it again. There's another secret, he says. There's the money. Okay, so where's the other secret? What house is complete without a bedroom? Okay, so right here. <laughs> Oh, look at. There you go. Look, see. Here we are. We're up. Above the house. We're outside the bounding box. This is awesome. There's the guest book. Oh, look at this. He built an entire room up here. He's got a dance pole. <laughs> And a fish tank and piano. he's got so much stuff out here. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. <gasps> oh, and look, here we go down here. It's like a, oh my gosh, look at this. I know I'm glad they were here too. This is awesome. <laughs> There's the bed for the bedroom. <laughs> oh no, look. I'm in the casket. Oh, she Let me out. <laughs> <laughs> amazing that is amazing this is so cool my husband asked me like can you build an elevator i'm like well yeah i mean i can i don't know if we oh can we get back up oh we can there we go 
<laughs> I just, I, how do you put these items here though? Do you have to float them from the, you have a secret apartment room? Okay. Yeah, sure. It took hours to float everything here. I can imagine. I can imagine. Like, I know. I know how long it takes to float stuff. This is amazing, though. How do you figure out where things are going to be? Do you use, um, do you use like, raid markers to mark the floor where you want things? Yeah. cool is your part is do you have a room in this free company house that's secret or is it um is it an actual apartment oh i will sign the guest book for sure oh there's oh there are messages okay i was gonna say what happened there's no messages all the messages are set to private <laughs> If you're up here, I must have shown you how. This means you're pretty special. <laughs> this is amazing. What creativity. And I am just so impressed. There, I'm going to put my, my stream information in there for other people if they want to come anyone wants to come you know actually um yoshi p went into a house and someone had done this in their house and they showed him and he loved it <laughs> he thought it was amazing that people did this and I, that's yeah i was surprised to hear that you know he's he's actually you know okay with people kind because it doesn't really hurt anything it doesn't cause anything in the game to break for people to do it um you know and i guess it doesn't really increase the server load or anything because it's still you know you're still limited by your uh your housing item budget um I have to tell that's okay i can uh tell me where your apartment is and i'll go i'll go check it out <laughs> he's impressed with the housing and is really chill about a lot of harmless things including some things the rp community gets up to <laughs> yep <laughs> oh cool Let's see here. Friends list. I didn't know you could teleport to your friends' apartments. What? Oh, you can. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So let's see here. Let me find Zip. Oh, there he is. Let's see. Estate teleportation to apartments okay there we go cool i had no idea you could do that oh my god i learned something new today so let's go to his apartment <laughs> room 88 can feel free to check out my apartment I did the opposite thing um, in my apartment I actually didn't float anything I made a flat and my challenge the, ch the challenge that I made myself was to not float anything but still make a super modern apartment okay so this is a secret apartment okay he says Shh. <gasps> whoa where'd he go he disappeared. Where's the spot? Right there. 
Oh, does, does. Oh, look at that. Okay. Whoa. So now we're behind the actual wall. We're outside the bounding box. <gasps> Look at this. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is so cool. And look at this guy. Oh, look, there's stars. It's like a rooftop garden. Like it's a rooftop cafe. Look at their stars. <gasps> this is so cool. Amazing. Amazing. Okay, so. I saw this funny video once. This guy was like talking about all the different types of players in Final Fantasy. And finally at the end, he's like, and then there's the people who do housing. <laughs> and they are like the gods. <laughs> they are like the gods of Final Fantasy. <laughs> and I was just like, yes, it's true. It's true. Because, yeah, who else but someone who does housing is going to figure out how to do all this kind of stuff. This is amazing. This is so cute. I love it. Oh yeah, look, you can sit here. That's why someone did the thing. I, I, I saw this, whoops, I'm facing the wrong direction. Um, I saw someone had one of these little benches sat in uh, the edge of a loft in another house and I was like why would they do that but now I know so you could sit on it <laughs> on the edge of the loft this is really cute interior decorating is its own form of endgame indeed it is it indeed it is this is amazing Yep, housing glamour it is. <laughs> All the work that I do is for housing items and to look cute. <laughs> That's it. That's it. You know, I used to I used to do raiding, but I uh I don't raid anymore. I don't do anything with static groups. Um I have uh I have a disease called Addison's disease and it affects your stress response. Um, basically, it's an autoimmune disease. My body attacked my adrenal glands and destroyed the cortex of my adrenal glands. And so I don't make cortisol anymore. And so I have to replace cortisol with medication. Um, and so stress is really difficult. Like, I don't deal well with stress because I, I make tons and tons of adrenaline, but I don't make any cortisol. And the way it normally works is that when you first like fight or flight thing happens, your body makes adrenaline to like save you, like boost your blood pressure up and, you know, raises your blood sugar and gives you that burst of energy so that you can escape whatever it is. But then cortisol kicks in because it's slower acting and it takes longer to produce. And as the cortisol level rises, then the adrenaline level goes lower. But for people like me with Addison's disease, we make a bunch of adrenaline, but don't have cortisol to counter it. And so we just stay like, stress is hard. We just stay like ramped up on adrenaline like too long. And it's not good for you. It's very unpleasant. Um, and then when the adrenaline actually does wear off, we don't have anything to uh, maintain blood pressure and blood sugar and so we can go into what they call an adrenal crisis so that is why I don't read anymore it's too stressful and so I started doing housing stuff um, because it's actually really relaxing <laughs> and um, and it lets me still play the game that I love so much that I've been playing for so long now um, so yeah I do I get to see cool housing and I started doing this stream I started doing you know, I started playing on stream, just like questing and stuff. And then I started like, well, 
I'm bored today and nobody's watching my stream anyway. So I'm just going to go like sneak around and look at people's houses. And I started touring houses in the first ward of mist and people started showing up to watch my stream <laughs> while I was going through people's houses and commenting on stuff. And so here we are sitting in outer space on a loft um, with a awesome housing designer a few months later um, and having a lot of fun. And it's really like the counter to so much stress. <laughs> so excellent, excellent. <laughs> and you know yeah i mean i started with no followers and now i don't even know i think i've got like 180 followers and i've made some new friends and that is the best thing and i'm i'm glad that you're all here and i oh yay the, the twitzer thank you for the follow um so yeah and and you know especially with covid it's you know it's not real safe for me to be out there. So, oh, hey, yay, thank you. Thank you for the subscription. Excellent. Thanks so much. I really appreciate the support. <laughs> um, this keeps me at home and safe doing this. You know, I can go and visit people um, and I don't have to expose myself to germs. <laughs> and hopefully we'll get ourselves out of this mess of, of the pandemic soon. Uh, but until they do, until we do, you know, at least um, I can hang out with people online and that's that makes it cool. That's cool. I love Final Fantasy so much. And I love Square Enix for making this game and making it so awesome. Let me get a sip of tea. All right. <laughs> all right great i will i appreciate that and feel free to check out any of my properties that you want i my apartment's really cute i think you would like it if you saw it it's not as not as amazing as this but i'm quite proud of how it came out it was like the nicest thing i've ever designed <laughs> i'm getting better um at housing by uh by visiting other people's houses I get I learn new things every time I go out so thank you thank you let's see here I am gonna go back to the friends list and I am gonna find zip oh there we are and I'm gonna do estate teleportation I didn't know you could do this with your friends that's amazing You love my basement <laughs> okay yeah, i love that too and you know my house is torn apart right now the upstairs i'm redoing the little cafe um but the basement's the same <laughs> the basement is the same and then the free company house the basement there is pretty good too love this house this was amazing how awesome and look there's cactuars this is perfect perfect little desert house awesome Thanks so much, Zip. And yeah, you know, people don't like the goblet, but look how awesome the goblet is. The brimming heart is the nicest um, feature um, of any of the housing districts, I think. So let's see, we are at 20, so we got to find 21. And 21 is up this way. We're going to go up this way. I'm going to ride my sparkle dog up the way here. Up we go. Uh, wait, 21's down there. Okay, so we got to go down. I try hard. <laughs> I try hard with my housing stuff um, to make nice things. Um, I... I'm not as good at it as some people like some of the stuff that I see when I go out and about it just like blows my mind what people are able to do in their houses it's awesome it's just amazing so here we are at plot 21 let's see where we are C's respite we are at C's respite it is plot 21 and the owner is Ashwa Guder 
and there's no greeting but their yard is decorated so there's a good chance that they've decorated their house too let's take a look let's take a look around carbuncles carbuncle bench and table all right Let's go on into the house and see what's going on. They've got my favorite furniture item, the doll shelf. I love that thing. This is very colorful. They've got all the posters. See, look, everybody needs more bookshelves. Yeah, yeah, I started in, I did do, I do one ward, no, what I do, like I started in mist and I did ward one and then I did lavender beds one, you know, I do all of the first wards and I'm moving up. So right now this is our first fourth ward that we're going to. Um, so next stream will probably, if we finish here, um, we'll do the subdivision of goblet four then we'll move on to like lavender beds or mist four i'm not sure which one yet um but yeah i'll do all of the fourth wards plus subdivisions and then we'll move up so that's it's taken me months it's taken me almost three months to get through it's like a month per per ward um that's how many houses there are in this game <laughs> <laughs> you know, because we go to the apartment buildings too and we look at all the apartments. We just look at everybody's. Everybody. Everybody. We don't discriminate. We look at everybody's stuff. Fish. We visit all of the fish. <laughs> oh, I, I probably did. What free company is your wife in? Small free company bonds. I probably did. Um, I might, I'm not sure if I, I may have skipped free company rooms at that point, but I'm not sure. If not, I'll go check it out. Ward one, plot 19. We'll go look. We'll make sure. We'll make sure that we've seen it. If it's like the little seafront cottages, I always go into those no matter what, unless they're locked. <laughs> Because they're always so cute. This little downstairs is nice. They did a good job down here. I started numbering the episodes like halfway through because there was it was like getting out of control. I just like had so many, um, so many videos. And it was impossible to keep track. <laughs> so I started started numbering them. Let's see here. They didn't have a guest book. So let's let's check to make sure that um let's check to make sure that we can uh that we did do that. Missed plot missed word one. I want to make sure I if I'll go and check take a look at it. Okay, well, we'll go look at it now then. Let's go. Let's go. People who subscribe to the channel get to suggest places for me to go visit. And I will stop in the middle of a stream and go visit them. Because <laughs> we can always come back. We can always come back here. It's not like, you know, nothing's lost. Everything gained. Let's go to Mist One. Oh, no, it's fine. It's not a derail. This train is a crazy train, <laughs> if you haven't noticed yet. <laughs> We're on the crazy train. All right, let's see here. Uh, let me get on the sparkle pony. And plot 19 is that first of those little seafront cottages. 
I'm just going to run over people's houses. Hopping through the yards. Do, do, do. I think. Here we are. And I know that we've been, I know we've been here. I'm pretty sure. The crow's nest, the unbroken bonds. Welcome, don't die or do. Yes, we did come in this house. So let's go in and take a look. I'm not sure if I looked in free company rooms or not. If I didn't visit their free company rooms, I should have because I, I, I normally try to. I remember this house. They've got all of the, they got everybody, all the people. Cute little house. Angel's Abyss room. Angel Abyss's room. Okay, let's take a look. I might have been in here. I can't remember now. It's been a while. Whoa. Hush a front. Oh, look at this. I don't recall seeing this. I would have remembered this. Cute. Oh, look. I love the ronk and rocking chair. You can sit there next to your bestie. This is a nice room. Very nice. I did not visit this room unless she's redecorated it lately. Because I don't remember this. I would remember this. Macaron cushions. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Beautiful. I love all the art from the Mog Station. Ooh, look. I'm going to jump into this tub. I like that. This is super nice. I'm just getting my wet feet on her furniture. <laughs> I redecorate my stuff so often too. Just, you know, because it's fun. It's fun to decorate. Nothing in that loft up there? No. No steps or anything up there, I don't think. I like this little kitchen. That looks nice. Very sweet little kitchen. Sweet little apartment. Well, I guess free company room. This is very cute. Tell your wife that I love her room. And I think it's awesome. And that if she redecorates or moves, she should let me know. And I'll come and look at it again. Wait, there are... There's stairs here. Why are there stairs right there? Is it so you can get up and kiss kiss the picture? It is. Look, because you step up here and you're like right in his face. <laughs> she has an apartment in Shiragane. Oh, hey, there is 17th Ward Room 39. We'll go look. There, I invite your wife to come to our channel. <laughs> All right. Awesome. So wait, she's... Wait, let me, wait, 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 wait. Let me make sure I remember. We're going to Shirgane 17, room 39. All right. Let's do it. And then we'll go back to the goblet. <laughs> they might have gotten turned by accident. So, 
Shiragane, 17. And we'll go to plot 39. Let's see. We gotta get to the apartment building, which I think is just like straight ahead. So pretty. Shiragani is so pretty. I know. They're always so peaceful. So we're going to go to 39 Angel Abyss. She doesn't have a greeting or anything on her room. Ooh, look at this. I like it. Nice door. Cute little kitchen. I like the tiles. Never ending journey. Oh, she's got the new table. The necropolis table. I'm I'm not sure why it's supposedly spooky. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm short too. I'm a cat girl. I'm like the shortest cat girl, so not a problem for me. This is very cute and I love her color choices. Oh, look at that big screen TV. <laughs> awesome. Very nice. Very nice apartment. Very pretty. Up oh, there's the guest book. Love the apartment too. Amazing. Let me know if you remodel. There we go. Very cool. Now we're back, going back to Goblet Ward 4. I'm just going to go from my friends list again because easy here we go all right <laughs> here we go Whoop. off we go back on the trail here When she gets a day, when she's not tired, I'll see if she can, if I can drag her along to check out your places. Okay, cool. <laughs> cool. Let's see here. So I, we were in 21, so this is 22. I think this is our next one right here. Plot 22. Devil Child 588, thanks for the follow. Welcome. Let's see here. This is the Baja Barracks. This is Baja Blast Brigade's house. It's a free company house. And it says, if it's Baja, blast it down. <laughs> I want to welcome you to the channel, Devil's Child. I hope that you're enjoying the stream. And, uh, yeah, we're just taking a peek around the goblet tonight. Ward four. This yard is quite nice. They've even got a mossy rock in the corner so you can stand up and look over the fence at the neighbor's yard. You can peep what the neighbors are up to. Maybe this person's on the HOA. 
They gotta keep an eye on everything. <laughs> They've got their deck floated up too, so that they can survey from above. Super pretty. Nice plot. All right, let's go on in the house. They've used the Oasis walls in here, which are nice. Let's see here. Let's get over this way. Take a look at the room from this side here. It's got a nice little living room area. Got the Major General. Fluffy rug from the vendor. Manor chair and couch. Bookcase. I love the fat cat couch. It's so cute. Starlight dodo. If you eat all of the starlight dodo, you have this nice big platter that you can use for various things in your house. Got the Riviera stalls with gems. This little lady will give you some rice cakes if you're lucky. Fish. Let's see what fish they've got. I'm going to jump up on the thing here. I like to check out the fish tanks because, man, some of the fish are hard to get. Those are cool fish. I don't even know what those are, but they're pretty. I like their color. Poor giant lonely shark. Can't move. <laughs> A crafting area. All right, let's go check out their free company rooms. So tomorrow morning, for those of you who are interested, um, I will not be touring houses tomorrow morning on my stream. Um, it'll be around 11 a.m. Eastern time. I will be um, doing art. I'm going to be working on uh, Vroid Studio. Um, just, you know, going to go through how to create a virtual avatar like the one that I'm using right now. Um, for free you can download Vroid Studio for free from um, Steam and if you want to join in the fun just download the program and you can work along with me and I will walk you step by step through uh, how to put together a virtual avatar so let's see oh they've only got two rooms <clears throat> this is Cafe La Book come read a book and have a quick snack Visitors welcome. It's a library and a cafe. So let's go check it out. It's cafe and the books. <laughs> Cute little room. There's a snack. If you would like a snack, have a snack. There's some toast and a salad. Have a sandwich. <clears throat> I got the Final Fantasy cookbook. And one of the recipes in there is for this sandwich basket. It's basically um, lettuce and tomato sandwiches, egg salad sandwiches, and roast beef sandwiches. <laughs> Stuck in a basket. <clears throat> All right, let's go to the next room. Baja Base. The owner is Throck Strong Meats. And it's under renovation, so we'll check it out. We'll see what's going on. It's under renovation. All right, we've seen everything there is to see here at the Baja Blast. I think my husband has gone to bed. His computer is acting up. He's got a problem with his power supply thing. He gave up <laughs> and went to bed. He was tired from work. Works as a substitute teacher. And the children were very bad today. Like the end of the week, first week back from Christmas break. And they were just completely wound up. 
So let's see here. Plot 23 down this way. And also they found out, we found out today that they're actually closing his school for all of next week. Next five days, they're closed because there are so many staff members who are out sick with COVID that they don't have enough. They don't have enough teachers and support people to keep kids safe at school. So they had to close the school because they just there were just not enough healthy adults to keep the school running. So for the next five days, the school is closed. It's crazy. It's crazy. Let's see here. This is Casting Couch Callback. Owner is Squeenix B and our name. <laughs> and I guess they're going to do the Manderville dance for us. It's a vi visitor's welcome. It's a tavern and an eatery. So let's go check it out. Oh, hi, Nana. What's up? Oh, I didn't. I forgot to turn on the Nanner cam. Let's see. Let me set up the Nanner cam for you guys. I forgot. Let's see. I want to add a video capture device, add source, and the Nana cam. I want to add that. Doesn't sound like any normal tavern or eatery. No, I know it doesn't, does it? Let's see. Where is the Nana cam? Let's just do this and then switch to something. Switch back to that camera. That usually works. Oh, there it is. There's the Nana cam. I'm going to shrink it down and let's let's get a better view of the banana. There she is. <laughs> That's the Nanner cam. That's Nanamo. She's a chihuahua. She's tiny, adorable, and she's the boss. <laughs> she is Nanamo Olnamo, the Sultana of Ulda. There she is. <laughs> Being super cute. Just sleeping on the big bean bag. That's one of the channel rewards, by the way. You can spend your channel points to have me turn on the Nanner cam for like 15 minutes or something. Every once in a while, we'll just turn it on and check on her. Let's see here. So I'm just going to turn it off for now. Because it takes up space on the wall. All right. Let's go on and see if this house is decorated. She's a good girl. She's a really, really good dog. We got her from the Humane Society. Well, they've got the, what is this, the Immortal Flames walls? And floor. Guild leave counter. So this is a free company house. There are rooms. Check out their, their free company crest. It's a morble. <laughs> they just got this set up, you know, like the, here's you know, where you can play triple triad with a friend. Here's where you can plot your next, you know, battle on the map. And then there's the plotting table here to plot other things. <laughs> Doubles as a dance stage. Cat girl. Let's go check out their free company rooms. Their display cabinets are empty, except for one thing. Mecha Quarrel. <laughs> Let's go to... Oh, there's only two rooms. Private Chambers. One is owned by Leon Flame Drafts, Draft, and it is the Black Mage's Lair. Let's go check it out. Whoops. 
here we are and this is just you know this is where the emperor comes to sit it's the black mage's lair we have a couple leaven orbs the aurora phasmascape some bookshelves and a poster of the elements just in case they forget how to be a black mage there's their set of directions <laughs> All right, let's go to the other room. Private Chambers number two is owned by Lois Einhorn. And they're not really, that's not really decorated. They just have a couch in here. All right. We have visited this house. I did not see a guest book. Nope, no guest book. All right, onward. Next, next on the list. We'll visit one more house and then I'm going to take a couple minutes of break time and um, hopefully we'll get to all of the houses in this zone tonight um, and make it into the apartment building as well. So we were just in 23. Oh, hey, someone bought my 99 crawler cocoons. Whoa, awesome. I've been trying to sell those for days. That's 23. We're going to go down here to 24. And this is plot 24. Let's go take a look at their placard. Here we are at Lucy Bandolph's house. The owner is Lucy Bandolph. And it says, welcome. House not finished, but I hope you like it. Don't ask about anything suspicious that you might see. <laughs> okay. We won't. We won't ask. But we will poke our noses into the business. Let's take a walk along their deck. They, I like this. They put in a little little deck to walk through. I, I think this would work better if you were a Lollafell. Because I'm too tall. My head is up in the trees. We'll see. Maybe there's secrets in this house too. That deck is definitely, that's a Lollafell deck. pretty I like it all right let's check out the inside oh there's harsher front it does kind of sound like a Lollafell's house greeting too doesn't it <laughs> oh we can't we cannot dish on Lollafell's because Monty's a Lollafell This looks awesome. This lady's got a lot of paperwork to do. Oh, they've got this table. I'm not sure what's so spooky about it. I guess, I mean, I guess if you have trypophobia, the holes in the table might be scary. I don't know. This counter is very tall. If this is a Lollafell's house, they have got a much too tall of a counter. It's too, too tall for a cat girl. I got to jump up on it so that I can see what's going on. Soba noodle lunch. Udon noodle lunch. Sandwich basket. Tea set. Let's check out the downstairs. Okay, what's going on here? Oh. <laughs> there's there's definitely something happening in this house we've got stage panels up here the lectern of Naldathal. there's a loft here but I you can't get up there I'm not sure if there's any secrets that we can get into except maybe I mean I don't think we can jump on these. No. I mean, she might have an elevator in here somewhere, but I'm not sure.
All right. Well, I'm not seeing the secrets. I don't know. We'll have to come back. We'll have to come back. We'll have to come back when they finish. <laughs> we'll find out if there's a secret. I don't see anything floated up to the ceiling here. Wait, there's a pole here. They've got a, they've got the dance pole. But I don't think that does anything. No. Nothing secret. I couldn't find it. I couldn't find the secret. Welcome before you ask. The rooms are not done yet. I just moved in. Also, if you also see anything weird inside or outside the rooms, don't ask. <laughs> I like what you have so far. I did not find anything particularly weird today. Maybe I missed something. <laughs> Let's see here. Can I fit the whole name? Yes. There we go. All right. Well, I didn't find anything sneaky or suspicious in there at all. Let's move on to the next place. All right. Oops. I just want to see what number we're at. This is number 24. Okay. So we're going to 25 next. And where is it? 25 is this way. Look at this. There, her deck is like outside of her yard. <laughs> All right. So 25 is right here. We just ran across the bridge into the plot. It's a giant cafe wall. Let's take a look at there. Greeting. It's Le, Chou de Ch Le Chateau, Chateau de Chat. I think that's the, the house of the cat. <laughs> oh, and the owner is, yes, the owner is Feral Felines. And it says, welcome, leave a message in our message book. It's under renovation. It's a designer home and a photo studio. This is very cute. Very cute yard. Of course, it's so pretty because these walls are amazing. Oh, look, I love, I love this, what they did here. Let's look at this little garden that they put in. We've got great pergolas with the bricks. We've got the little Riviera outdoor table. They put the beautiful little fountain and pond thingy in the corner <coughs> under a pergola. And it just looks really nice with these walls. The fence that comes with these walls is beautiful. You know what? I like these. It's not too tall. I can see over it. Yet another reason to want to get these walls for my house. Because the fence is low. Little picnic basket. Nice yard. Let's go on inside and check it out. All right, this looks pretty. Oh, they've used the blue, the storm blue walls, and they've got this counter set up. Just got a tea set, some sandwich basket, the till. I don't know if they cook this stuff here or order it in because there's no kitchen, really. Fat cat rug and a ronkin' rocking chair with some cushions, lots of books. Cute table. Little place to sit and take off your shoes when you come home. This looks pretty. Oh wait, maybe the kitchen is through this door. Let's check it out. This may be where the actual kitchen is. Oh, it's not done yet. This is probably where the kitchen's going to be because they've got this cabinet in here. That would be my guess. 
All right. Let's go on upstairs. They've put a rug and some items on this landing and I am still unsure how you do that. I think um, I think there's a glitch that you can do that. I'm going to have to check it out. This looks nice up here. Whoa, look at that. Beautiful. It's very far eastern. Despite being in Olda. Let's go over here. I think this is how you get up. You just like jump up on here. Here we go. Fish tank. Bathtubs. Shower stall. Very pretty. This is very pretty. Let's see what's downstairs. I like the way they did their landing here with um, that part, the planter and the lamp and a uh, window. That looks nice. This is not done down here, or maybe it is. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look how pretty this little room is. I like it. I love that light blue color with the white wall, uh, white windows. Looks very nice. And they've like layered carpets, the sheep rug on top. I like that. Looks good. Not quite done. Ooh, ugh, getting sleepy. It's so early and I'm getting sleepy already. <laughs> it's been a long week. <clears throat> Cute house. I really like it. I'm going to sign her guest book. Oh, a word from the owner. It says, still a work in progress two years later. It's always a work in progress. Houses are always a work in progress. And a labor of love. Beautiful. All right. Nice house. Very nice house. All right. I am going to take a break for just a few minutes. And then we will move on let's see where are we we are at plot 25 so let's see we've got <clears throat> 26 is not open 27 is not open so we have 28 29 and 30 so we only have three more houses to visit before we go to the apartment building so i'm going to take a short break and then we will uh, go check those out so I will be right back. And why not? Why not? I'm just trying to spread some, some happiness out here in the world <laughs> by being nosy. <laughs> See, where are we? I wonder if I can go down here to 26. We were in that one already. We were here, right? Oh, no, we won't. We weren't here. <laughs> so this is a uh, new home. Owner is Karen. Is it Karen? This is Karen's house. Please don't tell anyone how I live. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry.
I play too much. <laughs> I play far too much. I probably should have been doing other things <laughs> when I got that. This is Kylo Ren's sister. Maybe so. Let's see what's going on inside Karen's house. Oh, there's nothing in here. Oh, except for this. Just the big beaver burger. Poor Karen. It's no wonder she's complaining at the Costco. You know? <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> that was wrong. That was wrong of me. I shouldn't have done that. All right. Well, we'll have to find another one to go to. Because there's nothing to see here. Move along. <laughs> Shiragane, let's take a look around here before we start breaking and entering. Um, it's a really pretty housing district. It's beautiful. They have a beach. It's not quite as nice a beach as Mist. I mean, you can go swimming here. You can swim out. I don't know how far out you can swim. Let's find out. I haven't done this before. It's weeaboo mist. <laughs> oh, you can't swim very far. You get stuck right here. So that's about as far as you can go. Um. So, yeah, you can't swim out very far, but it's pretty. They've got boats. They've got a little dock here. They've got, you know, some, some kind of stuff going on. It's pretty. Everything's, you know very much in the Japanese style here. It's it's very beautiful. Um, look at that. We'll have to check out that uh, Kugane Castle. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Oh, look, they've got a little place here where you can come on the beach to hang out if you want to. Come down here and have a party with your friends. Check out that guy's speedo. Whoa. Why is there light shining there in that spot? That's a little strange, I gotta say. Pretty higher girl. She looks like she would just love to get away from this guy. Look at her face. I can, I can hear her, what's in her head. It's like, oh my God. If this guy mansplains one more thing to me, look at him, he won't stop. He just keeps talking and gesticulating and waving his arms. He's been doing this for three years now. <laughs> Poor thing. I'll pray for you, honey. That's a there's a lot of housing in this game. There's a lot. There's a lot of material for me to continue looking at people's places. I could do this for the rest of my life and probably never see everyone's house. That's sad. That makes me sad. I want to see everyone's house. Really nice. Very well done. I love this house. I love every house I go in. Even the ones that other people might think are just kind of dumb. I, you know, I appreciate the time that everybody spends um, to decorate their home. You know, to put a little of themselves in, and to do something that makes them feel happy. And that's what it's about. And so I hope that everyone feels happy um, when they go looking around in people's houses. Go, do it. It's not breaking and entering if the door isn't locked. <laughs> So, go into my private room, and this is my department store Santa Claus display. <laughs> so you can come in here, and you can wait in line, and this little Lala, Lala elf will tell you when you're allowed to go up to see Santa. 
and then you know you can get up on the throne and you can sit down oh, this is the all right i am back i'm back all right so we have three more houses to visit in this ward and then we're going to go to the apartment building let's see so we were at 25 we're going to go down to 28 which i think we have to go well we don't have to go this way but we can we can just jump <laughs> It's this plot right here. So here we are at plot 28. Let's check it out. It's Garkin's house. Garkin is a person who is um, on this channel. This is Castle Over the Clouds. The owner is Garkin Silverleaf. And it says, here's my castle on a cloud. I like to go here in my sleep. Aren't any floors for me to sweep? Not in my castle on a cloud. <laughs> let's see if he's online I'm gonna tell him that I'm gonna tour his house let's see the one time I'm online that he's not online oh, I'll have to leave a message for him he's not on right now well here we are at Garkin's house, we'll have to leave him a nice message. Maybe he hasn't decorated yet. Well, he's. What is that thing? What is that? I don't think I've seen this before. What is this? It's like. It's like a green thing in a cup. That's something I have not seen before. All right. Well, I'll have to ask Garkin what the heck that is. Let's go inside his house. Let's snoop. Let's snoop in our friend's house. <laughs> oh, it's it's not decorated. Garkin. If you need help decorating, let me know. <laughs> I'll help. <clears throat> we'll have to come and do a revisit. All right. So 28. So we're going to go down the way here to... 29 and 30 and those are the last two houses let's see wow what is going on here we're about we're heading into this giant house here with all these people <clears throat> Whose house is this? This is the Rock Outlaws. Rush on campers. And the greeting is get good. It's Far Eastern under renovation and visitors are welcome. Let's just tell them. Hello. Hello, little Lala friend. <clears throat> I am going to tour your house on my live stream. You can watch if you like. <laughs> Look at this little guy. He's sparring with me. I'm not sure. This is. Why does person punch me? <gasps> he punched me out.
Yep, I do. <laughs> it's episode 16. FFXIB Cribs, episode 16. Let's check out their yard. <laughs> We've got gravel and bricks and some meat. It's the uh, the forge walls, which are pretty big. I learned a trick um, a friend showed me. <laughs> Lala fell, let's go. I, they were, you know, the one of them was punching me. So if you get, there's a way to get up like like here whoops I think it's like right here like you can get over on the side here and then you can like lay down and get inside one of them older ones I don't know well we are in we are in Thanalin so uh, nope. Nope, that's not working either. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Nope. They must have put something inside of their fireplace to make it work. Someone showed me how to get inside the fireplace once and now I can't do it. Look at that. Lalafell sunk down in the ground. Oh my goodness. Someone better save him. <laughs> All right. In we go. We're going on inside. Ooh. Well, I like their floors. Check out all this loot. <laughs> nice. These shinies. Many shinies. I like their fish tanks. I like the way they did that. And this looks nice. Nice little living room area. You know, the open partition, two of them stuck next to each other, is the perfect size for two fish tanks to fit in. Cool. This looks quite nice so far. I like the way they've used the open partitions here. Very nice. Up oh, there goes somebody up the steps. Cool. Trophies of war. This must be part of the house that they're still working on. <clears throat> Very cool. <laughs> I don't know who that is. They're just like... Going right on by. Let's go on upstairs. I like their music. My YouTube video will get flagged and unable to be monetized because of this song. Everything from near from the from the raids, um, YouTube flags it as for for copyright, despite the fact that you know it's part of this game too, and it's in the game, and Square Enix says it's okay, and nobody else flags it for copyright. Just YouTube. I like the Andapuri wall lantern. That's another thing that I could use for making a... That's another item you could use for making a stovetop burner. Check it out. Mounted on the wall behind the thingy. Crafting room. The house is still a work in progress. Which is okay. That's fine. We'll have to check out free company rooms too. Let's go on downstairs.
Yes, real fire is an accident waiting to happen, but in this game, you can stick fire in all kinds of places and nothing will happen. I, like, turn fireplaces around and shove them up against the wall all the time. <clears throat> Samboy, welcome. You have a house next door as well? Um, cool. We'll go check it out as soon as we're done with this one. And we're going to look in your free company rooms, too, if that's all right. <laughs> this is nice down here. Beautiful. Very nice. I love that coral item. It's very pretty. Four tubs in the middle. Cool. This is very pretty. All right. Nice house. When you finish remodeling, um, the house you'll have to let me know and I'll come back and do a revisit that's the policy um, with house cat tours let's check out bet the uh, the free company rooms let's see what's going on well there's only up oh, there are three and they're not open so we'll we'll have to go to the next house the house next door I didn't see a guest book. All right. So plot 29, that's where we're headed next. And then we've seen every house in this ward and except for, well, in the main ward, we still have to go to the subdivision next stream. Let's look at the placard first before we go in. Here we are at the Rock Pool House. <laughs> the owner is Butta Stacks. <laughs> Excellent. So we'll go check out the pool house. Oh, they've got a teepee around the Maori head. It's like it's got a dress on. Let's go on inside. The bot got them. This is where they keep all of their extra money. Just, you know, we just keep all of the extra money here. It's a work in progress. <laughs> Merchant Lollafell, yes. Is there... There's no, well, there's no Lollafell in here, though. He's out on business. <laughs> all right. We have been to all of the houses in the main ward. So let's hit the, uh, the Sultana's Breath. Look, when you come out, you're in the, you're like in, in the hot tub, in the whirlpool. It's like a jacuzzi. Jacuzzi for a Lollafell. All right, so the apartment building is over this way. Off we go. Let's see, up we go. And around the corner, around the thing, Raban Spot, Raban Salute. That's the name of this thing. It's the big, uh, whatever it is, the windmill. You like to watch people redecorate in game too? Because in my, yes, physically picking up the objects and throwing them around. Yep. One hand, I can pick up all this heavy furniture. <laughs> We haven't had a single house that we've gone in tonight that was playing Lahi, which makes me sad because I didn't get to play Lahi tonight. Well, I guess I can always play Lahi though, right? Lahi, <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, let's see. <laughs> he is a legend. Oh, we're so, so glad that he's around. Oh my gosh, there's not very many rooms. All right, well, it looks like we'll be able to stop by 10 tonight, which is generally when I try to stop. Three hours is about as much as I can do at a time because <laughs> it's pretty intense going and visiting people's houses um but yeah so let's see this is the art gallery the owner is mitsuyuki lockhart and it is room one and it says use first person and enjoy all right it's a photo studio and they have a message book so let's go check it out we always use first person when we're touring Keep up the good work. I'm doing my best. I have a break from school until the 31st of January right now. So I've been like slacking off and letting things go <laughs> for a few days now. And it just feels so good to not have too much to do. I've got to dump the transcript on the captioner. It, the buffer is overflowing. There we go. So that should be better now. I think. Hmm. Why has it still got this arrow? Let's see. I don't know why it's still got the arrow going on. I'm going to close it and reopen it. There. There. That's better. Fixed. All right. It's the art gallery here. We can look at, oh, she's got all of the paintings. Let's see how many paintings they've got. I was in a, a, a big house that they did this with. The whole house was an art gallery and it was so cool. And then I went into an apartment room that someone had anglers canvases all over the walls. Every square inch covered with anglers canvases. I know these are, this is very cool. I love it. Got all the paintings. Gridania, the Silver Bazaar. That's that place in Quirthus. What is that? Boulder Downs. This is cool. think let's see did we see all of them have we seen all of them i think we have wait maybe we didn't we didn't come over here did we look at this side yeah we did cool very neat idea let's sign their guest book this is awesome beautiful gallery full of memories Well done. There we go. Message left. Guys, my real life house is infested with ladybugs. I have ladybugs. They're everywhere. They are all over. Like I go to get in bed at night and there are ladybugs crawling on my bed. And now I know that ladybugs are good luck, but this is an excess of ladybugs <laughs> they're like they're they're like on the ceiling there's a spider web up in the corner and it's full of ladybugs and i have to get the vacuum cleaner out and vacuum away all the dying ladybugs 
The next apartment is Quella's Loft, and the owner is Q and Quellis. And it says, welcome to my home away from home. It's an RP immersive experience. It's a designer home and they have a message book. So let's go see. Let's see what they've done here. Too much snow here for that. <laughs> yeah, I, I live in Georgia and it's, um, it's warm. It's been warm. I mean, we had a really warm Christmas. It was like 80 degrees on Christmas and now it's cold again. But, you know, we had like two weeks where it was in the 70s and everything went crazy and the ladybugs started hatching <laughs> they're all over it's crazy this is cool look at this pretty okay so they've got the little loft here to close down this space by the door and just a little place to sit <clears throat> Grandfather clock. They've made a little angled wall here so the room isn't quite square. Which looks nice. Little kitchen. Nice bathroom. I don't know how I would feel about taking a bath in front of the window. But since no one can really see in these windows, it's a fake window, I guess it's okay toilet that's a nice vanity i like that i think that's just the glade desk kind of turned sideways and stuck in there yeah they've made nice use of this space little apartment room they've got a nice big spacious kitchen for a little apartment room little table there and let's go on up in their loft Just got some bookshelves up here and a wardrobe. 2B and 9S. And there's the bed. And a little combed wool rug. Very nice. Very nice. Love it. Let's sign their guest book. This is a cute apartment. Beautiful apartment. I really love the corner with all the windows. Lovely. Nice. All right. Let's check out the next apartment. It is the man cave. The owner is Cypher Charay. And there's no greeting, but, you know, they named their room, so maybe they've done something. In it. Let's go check it out. Oh, oh boy. Thanks. Thanks for joining tonight, Sajakar. It was nice to have you here. And, yeah, go get some rest. Take your meds. Get some sleep. I hope that you feel better. We're going to continue onward through this apartment building. There aren't very many... So we'll finish. We'll probably finish early tonight as well. This is cool. Look at this. Very bright and cheery. I like the. I like that. That's really neat. Put this thing right underneath that. Uh, underneath the chandelier. And it's just like those flowers are like neon and alive. <laughs> tub in the corner with some verdant partitions there's their bed i like the fish tank look at they look what they did with the fish tank that's cool there's ishgard in the back <laughs> just a little music box very cute 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 apartment i think there's a ladybug in my hair oh my god <laughs> all right let's go to the next apartment sanctum sanctorum the owner is oradric ambrosius and it is room number five whoa i don't know what's happening here oh i came in and i was like stuck inside the leaven orb
maybe that's to like burn the evil out of you before you can like enter the rest of the house. <laughs> I don't know. Little place to sit, lots of books. The giant lectern of Naldathal. They're trying to look out the window. Oh boy, people are buying my auctions. This big shot. I think this is must be a work in progress here. Uh, or maybe this is what they intend. I'm not sure. <laughs> Let's go to the next apartment. Lots of books always feel co I know. I mean, it's, if there's one way to make your apartment feel more cozy, it's just, you know, throw a stack of books up next to the to the couch and people will think not only that your room is cozy but that you're very smart because <laughs> you've been reading all the books the next room is lights pad and the owner is a grumpy bear and it says shalom everyone so let's go check it out check out grumpy bear's room not much happening in here it's a work in progress they have the basics. They got a place to put their clothes. They got some tea. They got some meat. They got a bed and a chair. That's it. That's all you need. Let's go to the next apartment. This is going to be a short trip through the apartment building because, yeah, there's only one on the next floor. So, yeah, there's lots of apartment rooms available in game because as soon if if these all were to fill up like if someone bought these empty rooms then the next floor would open up to 90 um rooms per apartment building and so this one's not even full and this is not the only apartment building in game that's not full there's there's adequate apartments for everyone just not adequate houses you know they should, like, make it so you can, like, add a room to your apartment. Instead of just one room, why not make them two rooms? You know? Like, two rooms this size. <laughs> you should. You should get an apartment. They're only, I think they're 500,000 gil. And you can, if you go... Okay, I'm going to tell you a secret. Go do botany get red pine lumber get red pine logs and make red pine lumber and sell it in stacks of three or multiples of three and you'll make 500,000 gil in a day because that's what people are they need for the the uh, crafting leave to level up carpentry so it will sell this is pompoko's pad and the owner's Pom Poco Poco sounds like a Lalafell room. It says, make yourself at home, relax and enjoy. And it's a designer home. Visitors are welcome and they have a message book. So let's go check it out. I bet this is a Lalafell's house. Oh, you need to level. This is beautiful. Check it out. All right. So let's take a look here. They've got this partition up and that's just the leather couch stuck in the wall with a painting behind it look at that door they made all right let's break it down how did they do it so we've got I think a stage panel and this, another stage panel this is probably either a stage panel or a rectangular partition I think it could have it could be could be yeah probably a stage panel and then two more rectangular partitions one here one here one here so that's three and then i'm not sure what they used for the red door but those are um small windows and i think that i'm not sure what that item is let's see let's just find out Let's find out what they use here. Let me through. Let me through. Let me through. Let me into the wall. Oh, look. It's a Paisa floor lamp to make the door handle. And these are just um, 
half partitions and stage panels. And I'm thinking that these might be paintings. Mm, maybe. I don't know. I know what this is. These are white screens loaded up for that, for that wood, for the ceiling. So those are white screens. They're really easy to float. Pompoco, this, oh, is, is it a Studio Ghibli movie? Oh, look at that. Look at this. <gasps> I love it. Okay. Here we can break another thing down. This is the bar counter that they've put in there. They stuck it in and then used the stained crystal ornaments underneath. And the chairs, look at them. Those are just the bar stools. And these are the bread baskets. So you craft the bread basket, tabletop food item, eat all the bread out of it. And then you use that little counter placement trick that I showed you where, you know, you use a stage panel, put the basket on the shelf on a stage panel, move it into to the place you want it, and then turn off counter placement, click the basket and unclick it. And it'll stay there when you take away the other thing, take away the stage panel. So that's a cute little chair you can build. Little bar stool with like, you know, a, it's like a bucket seat. Very cute. Little wine glasses on there and some spirits. This is a Hingen sideboard and two wood slat partitions. And that is an Amdapori wall lamp. It's a, stuck to the wall behind there at just the right height so that just the top sticks out of the um, the Hingen sideboard. Cool bathroom. They've used the factory. Uh, that is a factory loft for the floor. And that they floated some that's like a cabinet of some sort or table or something that they floated up to make that cover for the the shower head and there's just some industrial wall pipes you know to make a steam room steamy shower room and chirurgian supplies just kind of stuck in the wall there towel rack hingen shelf that's the little oriental uh table which is really cute it's just a nice little low table kind of stuck in I believe these are just yeah hanging sideboards here and the um wood slap partition i think that's just a light back in here there's just a lamp in here let's see what light did they use in here yeah it's just you know the the indirect uh factory wall light wall light i'm in, i'm in the back i'm in the back so oh look that's a fireplace and the back they part of it is the back of a alcove bed so that's the back side of that wall with let's go through we'll go back yeah so this is a mar marble alcove bed they didn't use partitions here that's a marble alcove bed backwards which you can hang stuff on it acts like a partition from the back side and it use, it's one item instead of, you know, that's one way to cut down your item budget. So you have two walls for the price of one. And they did the same thing over here. Two walls for the price of one. This is very nice. Super, super cute. I really love this. I love this. This little window. You know? Look at that. Look how serene and peaceful that looks. I would totally sit there in the morning and drink tea. Look out the window. Even if it's a fake window. I don't care. <laughs> nice, nice apartment, but I don't see a guest book. No guest book. Maybe their guest book got full or they forgot to put it in or they ran out of item budget. Nice job. Really super cool apartment. Love it. So that was Pom Poco Poco's apartment. The next room is a little secret. 
And the greeting says, my not so secret hideaway, no boys allowed. The owner is June Valens. All right, June. Well, I'm going in, boys are watching, and I hope that's okay. <laughs> Oh my goodness, look at this place. It's amazing. This is the exact opposite of where we just were, but also just as amazing in its own way. <laughs> We've got the sylph table there with Alpha, and that's the bread basket right there that you can eat all of the bread out of and then use it as a chair for your bar. cute little kitchen We've got the southern kitchen there and they just used a half partition got the cool table we've got moogle rug moogle floor it is always appropriate this is super cute i like their little shelf we've got the sylph cabinet we've got the futons folded up under the steps there little floor couch with lots of plushies and cushions Ronk and rocking chair. This is the bathroom back here. Fake toilet. <laughs> oh, look, they've even got... What? How did they do this? What is that item? I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not sure what they did there. This is the edge of something. It's the edge of something to make the toilet paper roll. No fancy modern Japanese toilet in this apartment. Toy display case. This is the, the little office and where she sits to do her makeup. I love this. I love this adorable little room. This is super cute. And the song, Papaya. Oh my gosh, they floated a lot of stuff up here and they use floor mats flooring mats for the for the floor kotatsu table and a mog chair moogle cabinet Ma mary mog bed otter otter lamp table and chairs that's a tabletop item they didn't have to float that but they had to float this rug and the table and that chair and the bookshelf all of this stuff very nice very nicely done there is a trick to getting all of these floor mats um, lined up properly. It's not as easy as you would think. Actually, I don't, I know you wouldn't think it was easy. It's not, but there is kind of a trick. Like if they're not all even, you can get them even um, by using a loft set on, you, you like set a height on your loft um, on a stage panel and, um, and, you can just like go in the space between two lofts or between two uh, floor mats. And um, if you like snap the, the loft away and then back, the floor mats will both snap to the surface of the loft. Um, and they'll both be at the same height. And you can just kind of move it around and do that to get them all lined up properly and I'm sure that's what they did because these are all exactly exactly the same I've seen people just like float these up to the ceiling to cover up the whole ceiling anyways cute apartment really cute I love it I love it but I don't see a guest book June you need a guest book this room is amazing anyways I enjoyed my visit to this apartment super cute the last two have been great. This apartment building is really nice. They've got, you know, every room so far has been pretty nice. Let's see. We are in June Valen's room. The next room is apartment 12. The owner is Rhea Dark Willie. No greeting. We'll see if they've, um, we'll see if they've uh, decorated. It's just a bedroom. They've got, you know, coffee maker. They've got their little tea set, a chair, crystal bell, 
and the big bed the essentials <laughs> they've got the essentials it's like a hotel room let's go to the next apartment there's only only three more apartments to visit in this building apartment 13 is owned by valrea mordell and there's no greeting let's check it out The warrior of light is always working they are always working everyone's super busy like this person is just so busy they didn't even have time to turn the meat on before they left maybe they forgot to set the timer <laughs> let's see although we have less to do now i mean it's like we're not we're not the warrior of light anymore we're adventurers now apparently Welcome, Isa Man. Welcome. We are almost done with the stream for the night. <laughs> Here we are. And this is Ragnar Escape. The owner is Kenzo Ragnar. And the greeting is where I go to get away. And visitors are welcome. And it's an immersive experience in a designer home. So let's go check it out. Let's go check out their room. You only just started Endwalker. It's a great story. It's such a good story. I won't give you any spoilers. You've been lurking for a while. Oh, that's fine. Welcome. You're welcome to lurk. Lurks are always, you know, are always cool. Let's check it out. This is very cool. Look at this beautiful apartment room. All right. So let's go back here and take a look at their entryway. Look at that. We can break this down. So we've got, you know, this wall. They just use, uh, these are white partitions that you can buy from the vendor. And they've dyed them black. And then they've got the stained crystal um, window here. And planter partition and a little, that's the music bench, the manor music bench. And they just stuck a wall planter there. And they did the same thing on the other side. Which looks really cool. And then they've got the little, um, they must have gotten this idea from their neighbor or the neighbor got the idea from them because this is very similar. You know, there's a little window with the, with the wood slat partition and the little um, oriental table stuck into, these are Oasis stalls, little Zabaton cushion, everything is dyed black. They've stuck a window in there in addition to the, um, to the ceiling light. Yeah, yeah, we just saw it in one of the other apartments. <laughs> and then here on the other side, we've got, you know, these two little uh, shutter windows. You know, you can actually turn those windows around um, on a stage panel and stick them up against the wall and then do that counter placement thing so that you have the back side of the window instead of the front. So the shutters are in the wall. And so you can have them inside without shutters being on the inside of your house. And up here, they've got their bed floated up onto this little loft on top of a stage. Oh, look, they, there's the bar from the other apartment, too. <laughs> it's a similar bar. They've used the stools, which is are very cute. I like what they did here. So check it out. We've got the bar counter and we they've used the 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 long imitation windows underneath the bar that looks cool maybe they do or maybe they just are you know like riffing off each other they check each other's apartments out maybe it's a competition they have with each other i like the marimo lamp cool windows this is very nice very nice let's see this is probably bathroom back here uh, look they've got the great it's you know it's like the other apartment but slightly different so they've kind of like rearranged things but they've used a lot of the ideas from the other apartment or maybe the other apartment got them from here i don't know one or the other but super cool very nice very nice all right let's move on there's no guest book so i believe that we are here 
So there's only one more apartment to look at. And it's Gil's place. The owner is Gil Arathia. And uh, there's no greeting. So we'll see if it's if it's decorated or not. Well, they have decorated some. They've used the blue walls. Oh no, those are those are partitions. They did use the storm blue wall, but oddly, the storm blue walls do not match storm blue dye on partitions. Isn't that something? <laughs> so they've just got they've got this desk and they've got this fish tank behind the desk. With the giant shark. And look, there's Alpha up there. Three of them. And the fish. It looks like this is a work in progress. But then, of course, you know, we've got these four guys over here. Are not suspicious at all. Not at all. <laughs> all right. Well, we made it through. We made it through the apartment building. Um, so, and we went to every house. And we went to every free company room. We've been to everything in the main ward. Uh, you know, we might as well. We it's only nine thirty, so let's um, let's actually hit the subdivision and go to the first. Let's go to the first two houses in the subdivision that are open, and then we'll call it a night. I did it. I made it through ward four. <laughs> let's go to. Let's see. So we'll go to the Goblet Exchange subdivision. Look at the subdivisions. They've got only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven houses in the subdivision that are not open. So let's see. We want to go to plot 31, which is over there, but it's not open. 32 is not open. So 33 is the first one that's open. And that's Goblet North subdivision. So we'll go check it out. We'll visit two houses and then, yeah, and then we'll call it a night. And uh, if you're interested in learning how to make virtual avatars for free, you can come and join me tomorrow morning. I'll be working with Vroid Studio um, and I will show you how to build your own custom VTuber avatar with Vroid Studio. And that'll be around 11 a.m. Eastern time. So let's see here. Where are we? We are going to 33, which is this little cottage right here. This house. I know I do. I like that, too. I mean, you have to click twice, but at least it's more information than you got before. I remember... Um, originally there was nothing like the aetherite was just there and it just said aetherite when you would mouse over it on the map. And I was like, what? I, where am I going? I have no idea. I would get so lost, especially in Limsa when I first started playing. This is the bunny burrow and the owner is Velvet Sorbet. And it's the greeting is how do I house? <laughs> Well, they know how to house enough to like get their loft floated up on top of this um, living arch. So I'm going to guess that they probably know to ha how to house inside too. We've got the little pool up. Let's go on in and see what's going on in their house. They seem to know how to house. Okay, look at this. It's a Lalafell house, Monty. Look, there's a Lala lady. Look how cute. That is adorable. Oh my goodness. Beautiful, beautiful room. She's painting a picture. They just, you know, rather than use wall planters, they just floated planter partitions up into the air. That seems like extra work. Look at this. There's a refrigerator. I think that's like the, that's one of the cat, the, the wardrobes. That's the really tall wardrobe. It's like a walnut wardrobe or something. Riviera counters. Oh, and look, they did the, there's the Starlight Dodo, 
the platter that's left when you eat all of the starlight dodo. Paintings for the door handle. Um, yes, that is a... No, 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 you know what that is. I can see the glow. That is um, the backside of... You know the lanterns that I have in my apartment? The big, um, like the Chinese paper lanterns that hang on the wall? That's the back of the, of the lantern. So you just mount it on a stage panel, shove the lantern into the cabinet, and then turn off counter placement and remove the stage panel and just have the back of the lantern sticking out. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. Let's see. We'll see if we can um, peek at it. Yep, look. See, there's the lantern. See it? Hey, Domino Lupus, welcome. Yep, that's the back of the lantern. <laughs> All the tricks. Yeah, there's so many. I've learned so many tricks touring people's houses and shoving my way into the wall <laughs> to look at stuff or, you know, down into the basement below where they've been floating their stuff up. Um, so, yeah, this looks good. Nice little kitchen. Very pretty. They've got these. These are wall mounted things that you can just put up there. Um, they actually just mounted them on a wooden beam underneath the, the loft there. There's their loft. I love this table. This is, I'm going to have to make myself this table and chairs. It's really nice. It's like one of the nicest table and chairs in game. The Alp, uh, that's not Alpine. That's the uh, Lakeland. Lakeland table and chairs. Little stools. Let's check out up in the loft. Books, books, lots of books. The never ending journey. Bookshelf, more books on the floor. Little cushions by the window. My fox is going to go sit there. <laughs> awesome. That's the gold saucer um, chandelier, I believe. So let's go on, check out the downstairs. Hmm. Some red partitions and paper partition. Oh gosh, look at they floated. Those are troop stages that they floated up to make the ceiling. This looks cool. Look at this. That's the other side of the glade desk stuck into the partition in the wall. Fish tank with no fish in it. No fish, but there's a bed. Got the bunny and the moogle, and there's their orchestrion, mummer's wardrobe. I believe that is a Hingen sideboard that's been floated up to the top of the, the mummer's wardrobe there, so that the top two shelves are kind of inside of it. <clears throat> Glade stall. It's like, this is all like, you know, they stuck all this stuff into the partitions to make it look like a built-in. This, uh, that I think is the bottom of two different cabinets that have been floated up. Look at this bathroom. Oh my gosh. They've used half partitions, you know, the white rectangular partition there. And then these are stage panels. I can tell by the texture. These are stage panels. This is the white half partition. That's white half partition. You know, the rectangular, you know, the, the rectangular partitions. I like this little bathroom. Bathtub. Look at, they made washer and dryer. <laughs> Check it out. Laundry. Here you can do your laundry. Fancy. It's got a little wash, you know, the washer and dryer made from Hingen sideboards and fish tanks. And just, you know, the laundry basket sitting up on top. That's super cute. And then they've got a toilet they made out of a stool and a chair. And I guess they dyed something blue. What is it that's blue? You know what that is? Oh my goodness. That's the top of a mushroom stool. There's a mushroom stool in there too. And they dyed it blue. Very cute. Cute bathroom. Very nice. Super nice house. 
they need to hide an Allegan repair note in there so you can fix your gear at the washer. What an idea. That's a super good idea. You could just float it in the middle. Looks, oh, yeah. Yeah, and you know, even in um, in Star Wars The Old Republic, they have um, strongholds now too, and you can do house decorating there. I don't know if you can clip items quite the way you can here. Um, I have I play Star Wars The Old Republic, and all of the housing hooks there, it's like one item per hook, and they're very, um, it's a very strict system. Um, I know you can get some nice stuff, yeah, it's limited. Here, you can just like smack things together. You can like float stuff. You can, you know, we were in a place earlier tonight where the guy actually put in an elevator outside of the bounding box of his home. And he had like an entire another house basically built outside of the bounding box of his house in space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should go visit that one. That was crazy. Very nice. This is a super cute little house. Nice job they did with this cottage. Small space. They made good use of it. All right, one more. We'll go to the next house and then that's it for the night. And then I go w get my husband and help him fix his computer. Let's see. So we're at 30... Three and 34 is not open, so 35. It's the big house right behind us. We'll just like go around here. And I think we have to like go down here. And around the corner. Wait, where is it? How do you get to this one? Oh my gosh, I go up here. Here we are. How do we get oh, over here? Oh my gosh. Oh, it's the one with all the crazy. They have this is the one with like the extra. It's the extra house. They've got extra, extra sidewalks and things. And it's a Moogle house. This is explosion home. <laughs> the owner is Katsuki Bak Bakugu. And um, it says Deku is a nerd. Happy fourth anniversary, you sap. It's a sanctum, an immersive experience, and a library. <laughs> I know, seriously, duck. It's Explosion Home. Let's go check it out. Look at this. Look at this. The retainer has a chocobo head. Oh my gosh. Here's their deck. They've put all kinds of stuff. They stuck their chocobo stable around the deck. That must be interesting when there's chocobos stabled. Got a little bench with some rose baskets. Cute yard. All right. Let's go check out Explosion Home and hope that we don't get hurt. <laughs> I feel like I should put on, you know, like maybe I should switch to Warrior so that I have a higher armor rating, you know, or Gunbreaker. Yeah, let's, let's do that just in case. We'll go Gunbreaker. All right. So this is their entryway. They've got extra, extra stuff. Pillars and those are some cabinets that they floated up there. Skylights. Stage curtains. Kind of cool. Let's see here. Try to try to look around. Okay, so these are marble alcove beds, I think, that they've floated up to make the ceiling. Good gracious. There's their guest book. Dragon lady, snake lady. Hire guys. Catfish. <laughs> okay, so that's a door. Let's see which way should we go first. Let's go to the right first. There's this is a bedroom. Cute bedroom. I like the use of the um 
the skylights. I made some of the new skylights um, and I'm going to have to use those. I'm going to have to do, you know, maybe I'll use those in my cottage in the, in the, um, the upstairs in the cafe. Cause I'm redoing the cafe. This is a cute room. I like what they did here. Is there something behind here? There is, but what is it? What is going on back here? Oh gosh, I just got outside of the, look at it's cheese racks. They use the cheese racks to make the walls. They shut down this part because, you know, these houses are just too big. There's like a lot of this house that's shut down and they use cheese racks to line the walls, to make walls. <laughs> cheese, lots of cheese. Let's get out of here and go out back. Oh, whoa, we're still in the land of cheese here. Let me go through this way. Oh, here we are. There, we're back in, oh, we're in a different bedroom. Or is this the same bedroom? That's the same bedroom. Okay. <laughs> I got lost in the wall. Yeah, cheese. Lots of cheese to make these walls. Used a lot of their item budget just for cheese racks. This looks cool, though. Check out their fireplace. They've used multiple items here. Fireplace. What on earth? I think it's the imposing Ishgardian shelf. And then I think that's a desk that they floated up. They just put some flowers up there and the little toy box. Is this another room over here or is this just, it's just the hallway. All right. So before we go downstairs, let's go up. They've got Americ stuck in this crazy thing they built. Oh my goodness. Up we go. Nice library. Check it out. So they've just like stuck cabinets and so that's a cabinet. They floated one of the mounted bookshelves up. And then they've got Titania's wings here, but they've also got another painting backwards on there. These are two paintings backwards to make this cabinet just kind of like have that, like look like it has sliding doors. That looks cool. Very cool. Very creative, very creative, this whole house. So that's all you get upstairs of, of the house because they used so much of their item budget on cheese, on cheese for the walls to make the walls of cheese. So let's see what's going on downstairs. Let's see how much um, they actually had left over to do downstairs. No free company rooms. This is not a free company house. This is a private house. Oh, wow. Look at this. Okay, cool. So on either side here, we have verdant shelf partitions, the back side. So on the other side is the side where all the plants are. And they just use these to frame out these little areas. Looks cool. Nice tables, got the banquet tables and these tall chairs, everything dyed ink blue. Very cool. I like the lamps. Look at that giant fish. Look at that. Look at this fish. What the heck? Very cool. <laughs> this house is super awesome. Beautiful. Explosion house. Awesome. It hits you like right in the face. Nice house. Very cool. Well done. Let's see. Did I see a guest book anywhere? Yes. 
I'm still waiting for the bomb. I know. Well, this house is the bomb. Explosion house is the bomb. Love it. Really well done. The library upstairs is very nice. There we go. Signed their guest book and just with a few minutes to spare. So excellent. Very good. What a fun stream. We got to see a lot of stuff tonight. That <laughs> was pretty good. All in all, I think we had a good stream. Let's go back. Let's go to my apartment. We'll go to my apartment because my house is all torn up. <laughs> oh, whoa. <laughs> Someone just ran in the door just as I was leaving. <laughs> It was probably the owner. They saw that I left a message for them. All right. Well, so I'm going to go into my apartment. I guess I didn't need to put on my heavy armor for inside the explosion house. Nothing hit me. There was no shrapnel to avoid. Um, well, I want to thank everyone for coming. Everyone who is here, if you're new in the channel, welcome. I'm glad that you have come. And I hope that you will, uh, will uh, decide to follow the channel and uh, come and join us again. We do this uh, several times a week. I go out and tour apartments, generally um, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or Sunday, Monday, Friday, depending. It depends on the week. Um, I'm trying to finalize a better schedule for myself um, once school starts at the end of this month. But for now, I have a lot more time. And so I'm trying to do this at least three times a week. Um, Tomorrow morning, I will be working with Vroid Studio. Uh, so if you're interested in learning how to make yourself a virtual avatar like the one that I'm using here, I can show you the basics of Vroid Studio and I will be doing that starting around 11 a.m. Eastern time. Uh, you can get Vroid Studio for free from Steam. So um, yeah, feel free to join me for that and I hope that you all have a great night. Get some rest, take care of yourself stay healthy and i will see you next time but first before you go don't go stay in the channel we'll raid someone we'll give someone some support let's see who should we who should we raid um see who's on no well, my son isn't on we can either we can either raid d or we could raid peebs let's go to well i'll take you to um to Peeb's channel tonight. So let me get my thing open here. Uh, do, there we go. We'll just take a moment and I will send us to Peeb's. Let's go ahead and raid Peeb's channel. Here we go, Peeb's. Just say hi to Peebs when we go in. He's a nice guy. He helped me get affiliate status. <laughs> What's Peebs playing tonight? <laughs> hundred... He's got 103 SNES games left of all of the, the SNES games of all time. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm going to end my stream now that you're all safely delivered to Peebs. Thanks for coming, guys.